Welcome back to another episode of Licorice Recoil. Last episode was another sad, seemingly parting episode because Licorico is closing temporarily, probably. There's some really sucking sad somber moments with like the whole cafes closing, all the clans are coming over and like, well, we can't play board games here anymore. And it's because we have to go on this little last mission to... What are we actually doing? I mean, Majima's starting a bunch of shit up. He's got Shinji hostage. Majima's kind of just like spread guns everywhere. Now the pedestrians are finding little guns and just they're just out in public. They just and right underneath the bench. They find a gun. The police comes and goes like, stop, don't move. And the guy's like, what, what the fuck? And the police accidentally shoots the guy in the park. Which, honestly, if you've seen the gun drama news in America, I, psst, honestly, this is, this is, that's, the anime is a lot more believable to me. But what's really interesting is now people have been, I, I, I was reading some comments from the comment section that you guys posted but uh, like sh Majima's goal might be to just like spread this chaos have guns laid out everywhere and now make the licorice agents shoot the people the innocent pedestrian that's just found guns because now how do you distinguish the bad guy from the good guy and if you get at least one miss hit wouldn't that be kind of big news and we're trying to really release the news of licorice being more in the public because still there's like a hidden hidden faction that's oversees the entire peace that happens in Japan, right? Everything else is just an accident, right? And Majima wants to kind of blow all this shit out. I don't... From the beginning, I don't really think that Majima was... He, I mean, he's obviously the villain, but I don't think he's all that evil. I think there's a lot of shit that the DA is also kind of behind on. And at the end, the DA is like boss boss. Not the red-haired girl, but the boss of her is saying, release... Chisato, we need to get her out right now. A little does you know that Chisato has been released with Maki and they're gonna Mika and they're gonna work together probably. There's a really nice little it's, it's not death flags, but Mika kind of gives Chisato her like uh of age. Like it, I it's a is this a kimono or just like it's like it's a clothing, ceremonial clothing for her, of Chisato to become of age, to become an adult. And she's wearing it and looking all pretty and taking pictures, and I'm like are these death flags? You're going to be okay, right? We're going to have another heart for you after this, right? The entire mission for... The, the, the entire purpose of this is to somehow coerce Shinji into giving Chisato a new heart that's probably already been made, right? Right? That's what I'm hoping, because I doubt a happy enemy like this is going to stay sad for too long. We're going to have some... This is the part of the story where the audience feels like, oh, we can't be. There's no way she's going to die, right? And then, and then, we have some... When we're at our lowest, we... we we're about to go to the conclusion, have some big hype fights, and at the end, we're gonna save Chisato, and it's gonna be a happy ending of Takina and Chisato just doing cute things together, right? Let's begin today's episode. Mm, what's going on? All the licorice agents are in like a little van. Takina's back. Is that her friend that she sh accidentally shot? Well, she didn't shoot her, but she was the one held hostage, right? While she got the. Whoa. Chisato, she's. Takina, immediately, yes. That was part of the deal for you to get in the- I know, she doesn't have much time. I know, she has- she got battery. Oh, Takina's leaving? Takina's going rogue? Uh, okay. Interesting. Where's she gonna end up then? I thought that Chisato and Takina might reunite while Takina's working. Oh, and Roboto's working with Chisato right now. Interesting, okay, okay. This is why I think that she, I, I don't think... I haven't seen Chisato act this way ever. <laughs> She's acting so hostile. <laughs> no, no, we gotta do one more mission right now. We're gonna do it right now. Come on, don't say this. Bye. For now. Pro probably for like five minutes. Did she buy the tickets? HA! I'm first class, not you. Is that the suitcase again? Is this implying that there is a second, like a second heart there? She's saying you have to look. I think there is a second heart. It's pretty much confirmed in that suitcase, right? The better heart. She's also first down. There's another heart. Ah, found the heart. Get off the plane. Go, 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 go. Acts. How many acts are there? We going to like act three? Uh oh. First act was doing a little announcement to the public and spraying the guns. Act two is. That moment. What if Shinji's in on this? What if he's willingly being tied up? That'd be too crazy. For what though? What would he gain from that, right? 
Could you imagine if this is just all an act that Shinji played to get purposely kidnapped? To draw Takina out? I, to draw Chisato out? I, I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. We don't have time for this, Fuki! Get the fuck out of here! Dude, she's such a bitch, man. Fuki is such a bitch, man. Aww. Yeah, she really had all those, like, feelings. Like, she couldn't really tell her back in, like, episode 3 or 4 or something when we visited the headquarters too, right? You're still an asshole, though. <laughs> sure. That's everything Takina ever wanted was to join the DA. And she's saying, fuck the DA. It's for Chisato. You don't need the DA. There you go. There you go. What a development. I mean, she's already kind of thrown away the DA a long time ago. When Takina, I mean, Chisato was able to convince her. She got her blessing too. But Takina so, willingly departing from the DA if it's for Chisato. Toxic system. <laughs> These room buttons when there's blood every... Oh, what the fuck? That's messed up. What does that do? Hello, Majma here again. What's up? Hello, what's up? What's up this time? Act 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First freedom. Yes, once you got a gun, it's freedom, brother. <laughs> so redneck mentality. Oh, licorice. Hello. They're not supposed to exist. Wearing this uniform. They're going to turn the public against them. Hello. Uh oh. Maybe we shouldn't have the symbols, but yeah, maybe it's a bit too... And this is secret knowledge. The licorice is out in public now. Hmm. I mean, they are just cute little girls that happen to kill, but still, the public is finally witnessing. Oh? The camera says no. The public is seeing it for the first time. How are they going to respond? They're going to... Majima is basically trying to turn the public against them, right? Look at the how host... We're going to shoot him? You're going to shoot the lick... What kind of logic... Wait, what? What? What was the logic in this guy? He just picked up a gun and he's like, you know what? I'm going to shoot you. You just... What the fuck was that? Majima didn't even... I mean, yeah, there's a secret agent force that are keeping peace. And then he's like... Fuck you! No, the, the public knowledge of Rikos is out in the open, and now even the civilians are fucking attacking them. He's trying to paint them in negative, ne like, uh, to point, paint them as evil, right? Unbalanced, there we go, he mentions balance again. That's the police chief, right? Well, it's too late because it's already been broadcast live, so you guys can already see this, but this is bad. This is only Act 2. What's Act 3? Probably blowing up the tower again or some shit? Majima is true in, in the fact that now they are witnessing truth for the first time, but... What a radicalized way of... Wait, 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 the Roombas! Are there bombs? Oh no! The Roomba bombs! I should have known! We just gotta get to Shinji's suitcase by that time, right? Welcome! Take a shot. You're gonna kill your own! You can die if you fall down the stairs, even if they're shooting guns at us. Don't worry about the bullets I'm shooting, but you can fall- if you could die if you fell down though. True, true, but it's kind of ridiculous the comparison she's making. Oh. She's not still a bundle of joy even now though. Look at her just casually just like handling this. God, they have the shittiest aim. Now, is it their aim that's bad or is it Chisato's movements, right? I know, I know, but like, come on. How are you gonna miss, miss every... She's not... They're not missing, she's dodging, but... Careful! Behind you, behind you, behind... How are you gonna miss all this, dude? Like... She lost the gun, too. Don't worry, we still got pistols. And I still feel like Yoshi still has like a plan. There's no way he's idly just sitting without a plan. What kind of movement is that? I know every time we see Chisato fight though, it's just so crazy how she moves. It's so fluid. It can't be this easy. No, 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 no. It's, it's a trap, it's a trap! 
why are they covering the blinds all of a sudden? Your heart's in the suitcase! <laughs> Just take the fucking suitcase! <laughs> Majima. Covering the light. Oh no, if he dodges, Shinji's gonna get hit! I'm sure it's a non lethal. I'm sure it's a non lethal hit, right? What the backpack and cover like that? Jesus. No, her cute little dog, uh, uh, the little trinket that talking up. Shinji's gone? The public media is broadcasting the licorice agent, and the masses are trying to kill them also, which is the craziest thing. But with the life down like this, it's hard for her to dodge, right? Because, you know, his vision is the most important thing. Majima's pretty smart, though. We do have the flashlight, not anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. Her ear, audio, she can't hear. He can hear it. Remember, his talent just has to do something with hearing, too. He has, like, superior hearing from the uh, flashback that he made. He's like a bat. Based on the waves, he can tell where everybody is. How does this hearing have to do with the balancing that he talks about? The more than one talents? I don't know. Because he was able to balance the phone on the edge. Just like a plain edge. The phone was like a 45 degree angle. How did Look at how he just dodged that, dude. He's basically tough from uh, Avatar. He can tell where everything is based on, you know, the vibrations of the waves that he's producing. Literal bats. He has total advantage here, though. There's a little talk. Chief Sasuke can. Oh! Just took the kick and. Oh. Takina, you gotta show up. Chief Sa Oh! She can't kill, but. That's kind of crazy how she was able to still get that. Damn, yeah, can't. Shoot him in the fucking leg! You should have just shot him in the leg! Don't know, don't know. We're gonna get a fucking flat. Okay, cliffhanger. Are we gonna get a cliffhanger pretty soon? Who is it? Who is that? Kina's here, okay. And there's light now. That's good. Don't kill him though, right? Sup, best friend. Oh! Okay, the ending song is playing. Everything is good. Everything is good now. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh! It's 2v1 though, and we have light. Unless Majima disappears into the darkness again, but... That backpack is nuts, though. That... No! The little cute dog bass thing that we had on it together! But it's 2v1 now. It's 2v1 now. And not only is it only 2v1, we also have backup with... I don't know if Walnut and uh, Mika and them are going to actually provide literal backup. Like, with the here to fight. But I think 2v1 alone is enough. Unless Shinji just, just, just disappears. Does it? Because, like, I'm trying to think for, like, the future. If, it, would it be a waste to end Shinji? Like, what is about his character arc? Is it over already? I mean, he kind of got his goal accomplished. He was trying to basically show to the public that the licorice exists. And not only that, he was able to paint them in like a really negative way to the point that random civilians started shooting at them. Like, what is that logic? I get it. Some some random dude on the on like TV and, and everywhere is telling you, hey, this licorice agents uh, exist actually. And wh what did he even do to stoke such violence afterwards? The fact that they're hiding all... Uh, they're twisting the media and they're hiding all the events to make sure that everything's just an accident. Is that enough for some random, <laughs> random office worker to just find a gun and be like, Freedom, brother! <laughs> Fuck the liquor shop! <laughs> that was more ridiculous than, well, in the previous episode, the guy was in a park fence. But I thought that he shot himself. I think it was the cop that was like, wait, 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 don't do anything. And then he got scared and maybe shot him. I think that makes more sense. But holy shit, Majin was able to... I, I don't know. I think, I think that civilian guy was... I that was just some ridiculous anime moment. That was like a straight up just a fucking ridiculous anime moment. The big question now is how long will Chisato's heart work for? Because right now we're still in the darkness. Even though there is like a little ray of light has shown up through Takina, literally and metaphorically. Majima could probably still hide within the darkness, right? And I feel like an explosion is going to happen again to kind of just like do a book close on what happened in the previous time we were in the tower versus now. Shinji's gone though. He disappeared with the suitcase, I think. He's like, I gotta take this fucking second heart. I don't know what he's gonna do with that. Hopefully, he's thinking about using it on Chisato. He has to be, right? There's no way he would let such a valuable, talented person die, even though that the talented person's doing everything that he doesn't want him to do. 
everything that he, everything but what he wants him to do, right? I think at the end, Chinji will come to terms that Chisato, it's okay to live like that. Somehow, I'm, I'm not sure how that's gonna happen. There's gotta be a moment where Shinji realizes that, operates on Chisato, and then they get to live happily ever after, hopefully. But I feel like the story just doesn't end here. I feel like it just it just has to keep going because there wasn't there like um talk of an all boys licorice squad too, and I want to see like because like the licorice regions would they just be just would they just like disband because the public now knows them? Um, maybe they took a different name, changed outfits. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But there's more to the story than beyond just the Majima arc, and I'm sure I haven't read the manga. Maybe I thought that this is like an anime only, like a I thought that's like a anime specific OG story, but maybe not. Maybe there's a lot of content to work with, and there'd be future seasons. And in fact, if there is, great, because the anime has been fucking amazing so far. We still have this is the 11th episode, so I think we have one more, and I guess that's the finale. And to wrap everything up, my bet is somehow again, Chisato runs out of battery during the moment that it's really important. Takina kind of saves her, even though Takina already did save her. Maybe Mika, Walnut, and the rest, the Likariku, will come and save us. Uh, Mizuki will come too, right? I, and then, and then, somehow, uh, second heart operation, everybody's happy, and we have all fun times and bubbly times, and I don't really know what the fuck happened to the DA and the people. That, that's a fucking mess. This, we, this is a... We got a fucking mess out there, right? The public now knows. And they got guns too. How are we going to retrieve all the guns? Maybe they'll just be like, ah, oh, we don't need the guns. We can, you can have them. Uh, I mean, they are Japanese people, not Americans. So maybe that's a feasible expectate, uh, outcome that could happen. Anyways, if you stick around this long, if you don't join my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps YouTube. I'll go push out my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.